Hello everyone, this is Yavin and welcome to Laravel Library Major System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we let the admin change the borrow status from uh, apply to return, approve or eject it. So in this tutorial, what we do is that we will let the user, not admin, we will let the user see their request status whether the request was accepted or rejected. So for it, let's just log out from the admin dashboard and there you can see currently we are in the pump page. So what we'll do is that when the user is logged in, we'll show the user a option called my history. So for it, let's just go back to our code and here we'll just directly go to our resource, then views and inside views, we have the home folder and inside home, we have the header.blade.php and if you go down, here you can see we have some, which we are just seeing over here. Here you can see home, explore, item details, and author. So we'll remove this author option because we are not going to do anything for the author. And how to do is that inside this all condition, we'll just give another li tag. And in this li tag, we're going to give a anchor tag. And in this anchor tag, we're going to say my history. Then let me just save it and right now if we just refresh over here there you can see my history is not over here because we write this inside this or condition if the user is logged in only then this option will show so right now let me just log in if i click login then let's log into the user dashboard click login and there you can see my history option is showing over here. So right now let's go and write it out for this. So let's go back and here in this HTM where we give to second bracket, then we we'll show over here URL to first bracket to single position. And let's say the URL name will be a book underscore history. And right now what we do is that we we'll go to our routes, then web.php and write a round for this. So let's go to web.php. Let me just put down and let me just copy this out. So our route name is book underscore history. So I'll just copy it, then paste it over here. We'll use the phone controller for this and the function name will be book underscore history. So let's save it. So right now we'll go to our phone controller and write a function book underscore history and the request will be get uh, so let me just go to the app then http controller and then we'll go to our phone controller so let me just go down then we are going to show our here public function our function name is book underscore history to first bracket then to second bracket so from here let's just return a symbol view first of all we'll say here return view and the view will be in the whole folder we saw here bone dot book underscore history so let's just save it and let's go to our uh whole folder we create a file called book underscore history we saw here book underscore history dot plate dot php control s then save so let's just write simple html first uh let's saw here book underscore history save it so whenever uh, someone click on this option, my history, it will call this URL and this URL will call our uh, home controller book underscore history function and our this function will return us to this view which is this up. So let's go back to our browser, refresh. Then if we click on this my history, so here you can see book underscore history. So right now we are going to add a design in this book underscore history page. So let's just go back and uh, let me just go back to our port. We'll go to our home, then we'll go to our index.blade.php. Let me just copy everything from here, control A, control C. And I'm going to paste it in this page. Book underscore history.blade.php. So over here, we'll only keep the home.css, home.header, and home.footer. Other than that, we'll remove uh, main banner, category, and the book from here let's just save it and let's go to our my history image so here you can see header and the footer is together but we fix that first of all let's go and get the data from the database table 
so if we just put to our library our database table and if you go to our borrow table here you can see that uh, we are about to see that user id over here is the id on for user id on uh, there is those book which was requested so right now uh, based on the log in user we will show the specific requested books and their status so let's go back to our code and we'll go to our home controller and here what we do is that first of all we will get the logged in user id so in order to get the logged in user id first of all let's set the top and here you can see we already mentioned that use illuminate support backslash backend backslash auth and also the user table so we will be able to get the logged in user id over here in this home controller so let me just go down and here in this function we are going to give a if condition we will say here if uh, if there is any logged in user, so we we'll say here if auth id, if there is any auth id, it means if there is any logged in user, what we do is that we are going to show our there, uh, let's just declare a behavior first, we are going to say here user id, then we will give it equal sign, then we show our here auth double clone user this arrow sign id and over here we need to give to first bracket so how we are doing is then first of all we are checking if there is any logged in user then how we are doing is that or that logged in user we are to get the id it means it will uh get the logged in user id from the user table so here you can see for user the id is on so it will get the user id and after that how do we do is that we check whether this id it means uh, whether this id exists in the borrow table so here you can see uh, whether th that certain user id exists in this table so here let's search dictionary variable let's say here dollar data equal to we are going to mention the table name which is borrow then we we'll show over here double tone then we are going to say condition we are going to say here fire to single quotation and we are going to mention this user underscore id here you can see user underscore id we are going to mention this over here so we will say user underscore id comma to single quotation equal again we will give a comma and after that we are going to say over here dollar user id so what we are doing is that we are checking whether this id exists in the Mortary. If it exists, then we will get all the data. So we saw it here, then. And after it, we will send this data to this dune. So right now, let's just uh, give this inside this if condition. Then we we'll saw it here, comma, pong pack to first bracket, single quotation, it will be data. So let's go to our pub underscore history dot bed dot PST and over here in between this header and footer we are going to mention a div and in this div let's go and get the first uh let's go and get the book ID first. For example, here you can see book ID six seven five seven six five. So since there is multiple data, so we need to use for each loop. So we say here at the end of for each we say dollar data as dollar data then we need to in this for each loop we are going to say here in for each then inside this uh we said two second bracket dollar data this arrow sign let's say over here book underscore id and book underscore id to which will come from here so right now if we just refresh our here so here you can see six seven five seven six five which came from the database table uh, let me just do in so here you can see so obviously we need to fix the design but first of all let's just show the data properly so using the id we will be able to get the book name author name from the book table so right now what we do is that uh, let me just go back and let's go to our whole controller and from here we are sending the data from the board table so right now uh, here you can see those book id and user id is foreign key so since those are foreign key which is connected to the book table and user table we will be able to get the data from both of those tables so right now what we will do is that 
uh, we were able to show the book came from here. So we'll say here dollar data, this arrow sign. Since this is the foreign key, we need to show one here full. Then this arrow sign again, and we are going to show one here title. And this title uh, will come from the book table. So if we go to the books table, here you can see title is still our here. So right now, if we refresh, there you can see we are able to see the book title. So the same way we are able to get the author name and also the book images as well. So let's go back and first of all, let's go and fix the design. So let me just uh, remove this orange loop and this div. And first of all, what we do is that we go to our uh, book details.grade.php over here. And from here, I'm going to copy this 3D. So let me just copy it and I will paste it over here. Uh, deep class, currently market, container and row. Then I will close those 3D and the last one. The after it, or let me just save it. And right now, if we just refresh, the design will be fixed. There you can see the header section and the footer section is over here. So first of all, we are going to make it table over here in order to show the book status over here. So let's go back and here in this team, we are going to mention a table tag. Then in this table tag, we are going to mention the tier tag first. So in the first tier, we have the table header. So let's say we have the book name. Okay, let's just write the T stack first. I'll give, let's say four more table header, two and three. And this is the last talk. So here we are going to say book author. And then we'll say here book status. Then this will be the, let's just say over here image. And uh, this one is not necessary for now. So after this th, uh, table header, we are going to write some table data. So let's just say over here tr. And in this tr, we are going to say here. TD. So let me just copy this, control C, and I'm going to paste it three times on two and three. So here, uh, let's just give some random data over here. Let me select all of those. Let's over here EMACD. Save it. Then if we refresh, so let's just make a design so that it looks like a table. So let's go back. And here, for this table, we're going to mention a class over here. Let's the class that will be mill underscore design. Let's save it and let's go to top. And here inside the head section, we're going to mention a style. Then in this style tag, we're going to set dot table underscore design dg. They will give to second bracket. We're going to save it here. Border, it will be on ph Sony white. After the end, we're going to say over here, margin, it will be auto. Then text align, it will be center. And let's also say over here, margin tall. It will be unlit period. Save. Then let's refresh here. And there you can see. So right now, let's go and change the text color. Let's make the text color of white. So let's go bad. And what we do is that we are going to write some CSS for that TH tag and then TD tag. So here we are going to set TH, then we give to second bracket. So we are going to show on here, uh, let's say background color, it will be sky blue. Then we are going to show on here color, it paints the text color, it will be white font, white, it will be bold. Let's also change the font size. Let's say font size, it will be 18 bits. And after that, let's write some CSS for TD that. So we say up here TD. Then we're going to show here color, it will be white. Then let's also give a background color. Background color, it will be, let's say black. And we can also add border over here as well. Let's say border. It will be on PX solid white as well. White. Save. Then let's just refresh here. And there you can see we have the book name, author name, book status, and image over here. So right now we're going to show data from the database table. So let's just go back. 
and let's go towel and here we're going to remove those first of all before this tier we're going to mention it for each loop we say that at the end of for each dollar data as dollar data then we we'll in this for each loop over here we we'll say at the end of in for each then in this td we're going to give to second bracket then we're going to say over here dollar data this arrow sign we we'll say here boo this arrow sign title just like i showed you before how we can get the book title let me just save it and let me just show you if we now refresh here there you can see we're able to get the book name over here so let's get the author name then the book status then the book image so let's go back and here we're going to show the author name so let me just copy this paste it here it will be author name let me just go to the cook table and here you can see we write author name like this author underscore name so here we are going to say author underscore name and after it it will be book status so we are going to get the book status directly from the borrow table so in the borrow table we write status over here like this there you can see status so we'll just say over here status and this one will be for book image so in order to get the image we need to write the image tag so we we'll write the image tag then we we'll give over here the folder name where we stored the image so the folder name was uh, in the public folder the folder name was book so we're going to say over here book slash we say over here dollar data we are going to mention the book table name and here uh, let's go back to the book table and in the book table we store the image in this column book underscore img so we are going to say over here book underscore img so let's just add this height and width let's say height will be 120 and width it will be let's say 80 save then let's refresh over here and there you go and everything is too big so uh, we cannot write the height and width like this we need to write our gap style so let's just mention a class over here let's say class two will be book underscore ing let's get the top and here we're going to say dot book underscore ing we're going to say over here height it will be on point dpa then win it will be 80 pa then refresh and there you go so let's just show them in the center so let's say over here margin it will be auto save it again then let the refresh there you can see this in the center i think uh the header size should be a little bit bigger so let's just add a padding for the header so here in this t stack let's say here padding it will be 10 then refresh okay this is fine so we are able to show that book for a specific user over here so right now let me just log out and let's just create another user so let's just click register and let's say over here in user 2 email will be user2 at the top gmail.com random phone number random address we'll give a password over here then control password and in right now if you click register there you can see user 2 is in logged in and if we now go to the my history page there you can see this table is empty so let me just go to the root view and if that user applied for a book let's say the user on to get this book so let's click over here apply to borrow there you can see a request is sent to the admin so right now if i just go to my history there you can see it is showing us a book over here with the us we are able to show the book details in customer base or the user base properly different user will see their books requested by them whether their status is applied approved or rejected so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials